it's very rare in a professional athlete or professional soccer player's life uh, that you can be a part of a match like that um, where really almost everything that happened tonight was flawless for our team. Uh, it just doesn't happen enough. We've been involved in so many games uh, where you play so well and you feel so proud of what's out there uh, and don't get the result. Uh, but for me tonight, there's just so many storylines to talk about. Um, it would be difficult to, to get them all. But I do, I do want to just take a moment to, to say uh, that was awesome. Awesome. It was just fun to be a part of. Jason, I would imagine you feel pretty good about it all came seemingly as a result of, of working hard from the start and really putting the pressure on them. Yeah, I think the difference that we saw tonight was uh, a team that started the game by passing. Uh, we've we've kind of gone into things for a while now thinking that we needed to open up defenses by playing in behind them. Um, but I do, I, you know, again, I think I said it in the week as well, I think we're a very good passing team. And we can solve problems that are placed in front of us by passing ourselves out of it. Uh, and I think that that was the difference for us in the first half. Uh, the tempo of the possession and the pressure that we put them under when they had the ball helped us. It, it really helped us. And so, you know, even in the first half, we're, we're just creating and creating and creating. And you think it's, it's only a matter of time. And then in the second half, obviously, the, the one goal opens up the dam. Scoring his goal, and maybe it relieves, maybe it's some pressure being his favorite. I hope so. I hope so because tonight for me he looked like a guy that was feeling a lot of pressure to score. He put himself in some fantastic positions, uh, but then just looked a little confused when he got in and around the goal, a little bit indecisive, I think. Uh, and so for him to take that one, I think it's going to open up a lot of things for him. I think going forward he's not going to have those, those sort of second guessing himself. Take some shots and test them and see what happens? No, not really. I, I do, we, you know, a lot of times we don't even talk about goalkeepers. Uh, and he was a player that we didn't really spend a whole lot of time talking about. And I don't. We didn't spend a whole lot of time talking about New England, to be honest. This was probably our shortest pregame meeting yesterday. Um, I, you know, it was pretty much, you know, you guys have the answers. Uh, you know what you're doing. This is all about us at home. Jason, obviously, a lot's going to be looked at on offense because of the six goals, but defensively, you guys really didn't allow them any quality scoring opportunities. How pleased were you with that? Extremely pleased. You know, again, it's, uh, that's what I mean when I say flawless. I mean, this was as close to flawless as I've ever been a part of or ever even seen, to be honest. Um, and to, to not allow a goal um, was very, very good for us. Javier is on yellow card warning now. You were a fiery player. Is he a guy that you'll pull aside and talk to at this point? Uh, no, <laughs> no. Uh, I don't want I don't want to have him change his game at all. Uh, and we have belief in the players behind him to step in and do the job. And I think he saw one tonight. Uh, Andy Williams came in and scored an unbelievable goal. But what was even better than his goal was the pass he played to Robbie Finley. It was just spectacular.